Hey guys, my name is Josh, and welcome to My Lonely Mountain. Today I want to talk to you guys about my historic home renovation. It's been about a five-year journey, and to be honest with you, it started out really rough. Uh, I think you'll see that in the video. Um, we've had a blast doing it. We've had our ups and downs, our setbacks. Um, I will tell you that paint and caulking go a really long way. Um, my style of renovation may not be yours. It may not be expert. It may not be this old house, but it's what we needed to get us through. Um, we're doing this paycheck to paycheck after work and on weekends when we're home. And um, we just really want to save this little house and uh, our family really loves it. So stick with me, check this video out and see what I've been up to for five years, uh, getting this historic home to be safe and reliable for my family. I appreciate it. Enjoy. Imagine living in a place where a Civil War vet comes over for dinner, where you choose between your favorite horse and the newly invented car as transportation. Cooking required lighting a fire. You used an ice box for your food, and firewood was a never-ending chore. That's where we live. That's how our house got its start. We started on the floors. We pulled out carpet, carpet padding, and two layers of underlayment. We rented equipment from the local big box store and went to work the best we could. Now I have to say, the underlayment was a surprise. And I only had the sanders rented for so long. There were some other surprises as well. Did you know our house used to have pocket doors? I do. Now, I'll tell you, there's dust on everything right now. Everything. You're gonna need a good shop back for this type of project. And somewhere to hang out for a whole day after you lay down your lacquer. Let's talk about our yard, or what was thought of as a yard. I mean, if you saw our yard, you would have told your realtor they were crazy. Fortunately, I almost never back down from a challenge. In the footsteps of the original builders, our child's first outdoor toy is a tire swing. But you know, that tree still drops way too many leaves. Enter the arborist. The boys learned all about woodcutting and stacking. Now you guys know I like to make drawings. And this place needed a tree house. Another little side project when everything else is going wrong. I 
I will say it was a lot of fun. And I think I scored some major dad points. We had to cut down almost everything in this yard. It was all overgrown, all mistreated. All of it was sick. Um, so we planted new. Here's a little front step project. You know, it wasn't about me. I didn't mind the old steps, but when family and friends come to visit, they're used to a, a certain type of uh, feeling beneath their feet. Uh, let's just say uh, the new step was a major upgrade. So rumor has it that this house was an actual registered rental for 80 years of its life. And it shows it. Every square inch of this house was abused or dilapidated. Here's my attempt at some uh, custom drip edge manufacturing to match the house. And hey, when you have a rotted out area, how about a new crawl space access? We took this chance to run wiring for our outdoor outlets in armored cable and spruce up our foundation vents or lack thereof. Come inside, see what we did next. Now the original front door was only 32 inches wide and it swang right into the banister. I didn't feel like the house wanted to have a front door like that. So we put in a different one. I think it looks great. So come in a little further with me. This is a bench where one sits down to put on shoes, I think. At least that's what we decided to do with it. Some new paint and some light and it's ready for shoes. Now here was a fun project. I was the first person under the stairs in a hundred years. I mean, everybody needs storage under the stairs. And what better place to make use of all that extra trim that matches the house that you find in your garage? The entry to a home should make a statement. And I think this one does now. Okay, here's the living room on the first day. Here's the living room on the first year. The second year. And today. Have you ever wondered what a butler's pantry is? We did too. Ours was just kind of an empty room. So we decided to bring the laundry room inside the house. I had a picture with an idea from the internet and I followed it to a T. I love doing laundry now. And I actually don't mind dishes either, believe it or not. Here we have our kids' bedrooms. They were about as gross as a kid's bedroom can be. Like I said, paint and caulking, a little bit of decorating, and 
and the ugly clown bedrooms suddenly become perfect bedrooms for two little boys. Mom and Dad even got a new bedroom. This was a fun project. I wish I had more pictures, but I, I just don't. Now this house did not have a heating or cooling system in the traditional sense. Um, like I said, I love to make drawings. And I cut about 20 holes. I learned a lot on this project. I learned that I was capable of anything if I researched enough, tried enough, and made enough phone calls to buddies. You know what it's like to have a 102 year old house that stays cool in the summer? Welcome to the upstairs dormer. This is a place to escape everything sit down, relax, read a book, and a dumping ground for all of our clothes, actually. Enter backup heat. Now, I was raised with a Yodel wood stove, and I absolutely love them. So, my historic home had to have one, too process was a little less glamorous than these pictures make it out to be. There's that first fire. I was so excited. Now, where we live, there's a decent amount of traffic. So getting a fence up as soon as possible to protect our kids uh, was important. And uh, this was one of the first things I knocked off the list, actually. Uh, I'm a stickler for gates. I want all of them to match, and I want all of them to last. Next is our windows. Let me tell you about 100-year-old windows. A lot of patching, a lot of painting, a lot of putty. But you know, when you're on a budget, you don't always have the money to completely retrofit your house with new vinyl windows. You fix what you have. Here's our garage. See what a little paint can do? I'm pretty excited in that picture, actually. Sometimes we get to be artists. This is my wife on one of our first days. She was very patient with me. The type of siding on our house is very brittle and requires very specific uh, precautions to work on it. A lot of houses have that type of siding. If prepared and taken care of correctly, it will actually last forever. The Great Painting Saga, I call it, I think I did like one side a year. Imagine every single possible crack in your house being exposed and needing to be recalked. That's what happened at this house. It's starting to feel like a complete home now. Did I mention that our house likes the 4th of July? This house has come such a long way. We have a ways to go. Thank you so much for sticking with me and checking out our five-year video. 
and thank you for watching My Lonely Mountain. Have a good one.